Today on BRS TV, we're going to go over calcium and alkalinity and the role they play in the reef aquarium. Most of us know that maintaining proper levels of calcium and alkalinity is important. However, many reefers are really unsure why. There are a lot of reasons why you want to maintain proper levels of calcium and alkalinity in the aquarium. However, for this video, we're going to focus on coral growth since that's what's most important to most reefers. All SPS and LPS corals build their skeletal structure out of calcium carbonate and they require this to grow. To form calcium carbonate, they pull calcium ions and carbonate ions out of the water to produce calcium carbonate. To measure the amount of calcium and carbonate ions available to our corals, we're going to go ahead and use test kits like this one. The calcium test kit will measure the amount of calcium ions available, and the alkalinity test kit will tell you how many uh, ions of carbonate are available. There are a few other minor components of carbonate, however in a typical reef tank uh, carbonate makes up a vast majority of your alkalinity reading, which makes an alkalinity test kit perfect for measuring the amount of carbonate ions you have available in your aquarium. So if our corals are utilizing calcium and carbonate ions to build their skeletal structure out of calcium carbonate, we logically need to replace the calcium and the carbonate ions when they're removed to ensure continued growth and coral health. Now if we were to replace only one, say the calcium, we'd have tons of calcium ions, we wouldn't have enough carbonate ions, and we wouldn't be able to create calcium carbonate. For that reason, both are equally as important and one is useless without the other. Now that we understand the role of calcium and alkalinity for coral growth, it's time to introduce magnesium. Magnesium isn't actually used to any major degree by the coral for biological function. However, it's the magnesium that actually allows us to maintain high levels of calcium and alkalinity to begin with. So we know that corals can pull calcium and carbonate ions out of the water to form calcium carbonate. However, this can actually happen in the water column itself as well. The calcium and the carbonate ions are actually really attractive to each other, so if they happen to pass by each other, there's a good likelihood that they'll turn into calcium carbonate on their own and precipitate out as little bits of sand. These little bits of sand are also actually attractive to other calcium and carbonate ions, and it'll just continue to grow. This will actually reduce the amount of calcium and carbonate ions that are available to your corals. So how do we stop all of the calcium and alkalinity ions from finding each other in the water column and precipitating out? That's going to be the role of the magnesium. The magnesium, simply put, is the third wheel that prevents the calcium and the alkalinity from finding each other. So while the corals don't biologically use a whole lot of magnesium, it's critical to maintain your magnesium levels if you want to maintain high levels of calcium and alkalinity. If you find yourself adding a lot of calcium and alkalinity products, it's still having a hard time maintaining these levels. It's often due to a low magnesium level, and all of the calcium and alkalinity ions that you're adding are actually precipitating out. And the most common place to check for this is residue on pumps, glass, heaters, basically anything that's warm. It's normal for there to be some amount of precipitation on these, but if you see a heavy buildup of white crust, it's an indication that you're having a lot of precipitation in your aquarium. We recommend maintaining your calcium levels at 420, your alkalinity level at a DKH of 9, and your magnesium at 1350. If you are interested in being notified when we make new additions to BRS TV, you can sign up for our newsletter found on almost every product page. You can also log into your account and hit the Newsletter Subscriptions tab.